Tonight, Fox 23 learned large portions of, of green country's infrastructure could be damaged by a large earthquake. It's been more than a month since the magnitude 5.8 earthquake shook green country. Fox 23 investigative reporter Katie Higgins is live after talking to everyone from electric companies to water to find out what's at stake. Katie. Earthquakes in Oklahoma are a relatively new thing. That means there aren't laws that say things like water or power lines need to be investigated afterwards. Earthquakes can be violent. In Oklahoma alone, they're known to crack concrete, crumble walls, and damage your home. It's a little bit new, so I mean, we don't necessarily have a seismic vulnerability assessment in place. Quakes also have the potential to damage utilities, including electric, water, and gas lines. If we were to have an earthquake, we would, you know, do visual inspections, see if it was, you know, if it had incurred any damage. Joan Arthur works for City of Tulsa Water. There are 23 miles of pipe half of which is cast iron. This seismic vulnerability assessment says cast iron breaks the easiest. It's a more brittle material. Even when it gets really hot in the summer, we'll have breaks because of the clay soils that move. It also says that pipeline damage tends to be more severe when there's soft soil. Arthur says her department is trying to replace all those pipes with a more resilient material, but that will take years. She says if there is a quake, you probably won't lose water because multiple pipes carry it to your home. With this steel tower type work. And power is another big concern. Stan Whiteford is with PSO. There are no specific rules or regulations that require any post earthquake inspection. But Whiteford says PSO is proactive, checking monthly, daily, and sometimes hourly the state of equipment. Plus, he says they're currently making less stable things like wooden buildings, etc., more stable. PSO says they have crews all over Oklahoma that they can dispatch the second something happens. Live in downtown Tulsa covering news that matters. I'm Katie Higgins, Fox 23 News.